It's a hot topic with the virtual events community right now is about how much content you pre-record versus how much is, is actually live. Um, so what's what's the ratio for you guys and, and why have you chosen to, to pre-record content? So every single presentation is pre-recorded where, where we're changing real time and, and virtual is in the questions and answers. Because typically in a talk, or at least in ours, the way it usually runs is the presenter goes through their entire talk and then questions are held at the end. And that's really where you really want the uh, interaction to be strongest, is at the end of a presentation. Uh, for most of our presentations, we're going to be doing Q&A through a, a chat room uh, right after the presentation. So the presenters will be online, live, after, at, during their talk and available immediately following for the questions, just like they would in a normal uh, show. And so the first time people can access a presentation is when it's scheduled in our program. After that, they'll be available on demand. So uh, uh, the biggest benefit of, of being virtual is it eliminates the conflict of having simultaneous events that you'd like to attend. At a face-to-face -face mm -hmm. show, a struggle for me personally was to try and run between rooms when there's things I wanted to see that are, are occurring at the same time. Now you have a choice. The events you want to see in real time, fine. You can, you can see them at their scheduled time, but immediately following the scheduled event time, now that, now that content becomes on demand because PitCom will not, not only be open during the live period of March 8th, 8th through 12th, but it will remain open for a total of three months and that content will be available on demand. So it'll be more convenient for the attendee. They can do the things they want to do uh, in real time, you know, during the live hours, but in that remaining time, they can still access all of our content, access the expo hall. Any questions will feed through right to the uh, email boxes uh, of the uh, either the attendees or the presenters. So it, it allows for a longer, uh, more flexible option for engagement.